Hey everybody, hope that you're doing well. We are moving along through the Gospel of Mark. We are still in chapter 13. We'll be in here all week. I really wanted to combine uh, our passage today because it's a long passage. It's all about the same thing, but I'm going to break it into two parts. So let's hear what Jesus is telling us in Mark chapter 13, beginning in verse 24. Jesus said, but in those days, following that distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, men will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. And so we see Jesus talking about the coming of the Son of Man again. And he has just completed talking to the disciples and everyone of the fact that don't be led astray. Because Jesus is telling them right before that, he said in verse 22, For false Christ and false prophets will appear and perform signs and miracles to deceive the elect, if that were possible. So be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. So we think about this fact, and this kind of blows us away. Jesus is coming back. He's going to come in some magnificent, powerful way. He says, the Son of Man is going to be coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And yet Jesus told us, if we go back and say, that there's false Christ and prophets who are going to appear and perform signs and miracles and deceive us. And we're going to buy into it. Think about how many times we have bought into lies. That's why there's all kinds of scams out there, because we buy into lies. And it even comes when it comes to Jesus Christ. We're going to buy into some lies. People are going to try and deceive us. They'll perform miracles. And, wow, that, that must be Jesus. He's coming back when it's not. And so it's, again, be on guard. Jesus told us earlier, stand firm. And I really believe the greatest thing we can do uh, comes from what we talked about with spiritual disciplines. Know the Word of God. If you don't know the Word of God, then you don't know when you're being deceived too. You don't know what's right and what's wrong. Be in prayer. Be in fellowship with other believers. Yes, have other friends who are non-believers. That, that's great. But if your focus and your circle is surrounded by people of faith, people who could lift you up, people who are strong in the faith, who you can talk to, who you can ask questions to, that will help when someone is trying to deceive you. You can look at, at your brothers and sisters in Christ. Hey, this is what's going on. What do you think? And they might tell you, man, I'm trying to deceive you. They're, that's a false prophet. That's a false Christ. You know, d don't buy into it. Let's examine it. Let's look at the scripture. So I really want to encourage you to know the word, to ask questions. There's no bad questions. Even if it seems silly, there are no bad questions. They're all good questions. So it helps us to know and to grow in who Jesus calls us to be. So that when he comes in his glory, and he will, we'll be ready. And we'll know it's him. Hey, have a great day, and God bless you.